Okay, so it's about seven in the morning. Um, I was up most of the night because I just think I figured out the issue with the solar setup. So I've been having trouble. Um, after I installed the whiz bang, I noticed that through the from when the sun goes down to when I wake up in the morning, I'm only using about 80 amp hours total, and the whole a lot of my battery banks is 840 amp hours. But for some reason, the voltage was getting down to 11.4, which is almost empty, <coughs> or is empty. And um, I was pretty confused by it, and um, I thought it was because I set up the hot water heater element, and um, I thought it could have been because it's winter now and there's less sun. But I, what, what I actually think the issue is, is that the battery bank is not wired properly. So as you can see here, we've got two 6 volt batteries joined as 12 volt linked together here same thing here for each of these but the issue is when we set it up we set it up so that positive runs to that negative but it doesn't continue off that negative to the next one it actually comes off this negative and then goes to this other negative so everything's crossing over it's not actually going where it's supposed to so I think it's meant to go I'll use the positive as an example so all these are linked so I think it's meant to go from this positive to that positive, from this positive to that one. But as you can see, it doesn't. It's chops and changed the whole bank. So what I'm going to do is disconnect everything, um, change over these wires. I'm going to put this negative up the top, have a whole row of connections down the bottom, and then leave all these join-ins, which are these ones, between the two 6-volt batteries on their own. And... Um, Let's hope that works. Last resort. Otherwise my batteries might be dead. Hope not. Okay, just a quick update. I think my theory may be correct. I checked the whole bank, so from this negative to this positive on the multimeter, and that was reading 12 volts, which is pretty low, but then I read the, um, the voltage of each individual 12 volt cell, and this was 12.6, 12.6, 12.6, 12.6, 12.6. So I think that's the issue. So really, um, I'll double check it again, but if the whole bank is 12 volts now, once I change these wires over and the whole bank becomes 12.6 volts, I know I've solved the problem. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a success. Um, use the multimeter, this bank's 12.6, 12.6, 12.6, 12.6, and now when I do the whole bank, <coughs> you can see there, if it will focus, 12.6 so yeah I'm pretty sure that's what the issue was the whole time which I'm stoked about because I thought my batteries were dead but um <coughs> yeah if you ever come across this because we were unsure because um when we set this up it was me and dad he's got a similar setup but his is 12 volt, volt batteries we're mine or 6 volt so we weren't too sure how exactly to um to wire them together and the diagrams we have didn't work for what we had but um there you go, so a whole 12, two, two six linked to 12 here, same for the three others, and they're all tied, the positive. Nothing comes from these, these joining bays, which is what we had. So they're, they're just free and on their own, and they're all, they're all linked by the outputs, which makes sense because the way I thought of it and the way I thought it would work, <coughs> since we joined these two, these two terminals are obsolete, and these are the positive and negative. So this one and this one, is that's the negative, this is the positive of this 12 volt bank. These two are nothing, that's just a joining cable, nothing at all. So there we go, all sorted, so that is actually great news, um, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, here's the hot water tank I installed the other day as well. Um, I'll start insulating it, so what I'm going to do today is put a lid on it to keep the heat in. Um, and then I've got to, this is the, the water relief valve, so I've got to plumb that out somewhere, and then I can enclose the rest of this, which should be good as well. So, hell yeah, pretty stoked on that one. So I spent the time and rewired all this properly. Um, I ran into an issue where certain individual six volt batteries were overcharging, and, um, and then the whole voltage of the main battery bank, I couldn't get over 14 volts because some individual cells, there was only two I think, which were bubbling, and um, that's not good, so I had to figure out something to do to fix it. So what I noticed was, 
since I only just changed this in the morning um, of the other day, I can't remember exactly what the voltages were, but um, they weren't the same. So as you can see here, uh, when I checked, this, this six volt battery was 6.5 volts, and this one was 6.5. But the thing is, they weren't strung together like this. This 6.5 might've been over here, this 6.4 might've been here, this 6.2 might've been over here. And what was happening, the uneven balance between the voltages of the two was causing one to go up too high and the other one not to. And it was overwriting the end um, voltage settings. So what I'd done, I was actually unhooked all the wires in the whole bank, used my multimeter on each individual six volt battery, wrote down what the voltage was, and then I paired it up with one that was the same or close enough to the same. So what I've done here is these two 6.5 volts are turned into a 12 volt. This 6.2 I paired with this 6.3. This 6.4 with this 6.4. This 6.6 .6 with this 6.5 in an attempt to even it all out. And um, I'm pretty sure it worked. I can get it up to the 14 volts to charge. And it's all evened out. Um, I only just checked, but it was bringing in um, three amps, so I was still bringing in amps, so it wasn't actually resting voltage. But all these were 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6 and 6.6, .6, I think. So it kind of balanced out in the end, even though some were 6.4, some were lower, 6.2, it balanced out. But I'll have to double check that. Um, I also put this um, bit of an awning over the top, just in case water drips from the top iron onto here and onto the battery bank. So what this will do is actually divert it off onto the ground, not onto the battery bank. So hopefully I explained that well enough. Um, yeah, it all seems to be working fine. An update on the hot water. You can see here it's all enclosed, all insulated. It's currently 29.9 in that tank, but I actually just had a shower and it was up around 36 point something. So, um, it was only cooking for about, I'll uh, say two and a half hours maybe. When I first checked it was 23.3 at 1 p.m. And then when I checked later on, it, must, it probably was 3 p.m. It was um, 36. So it jumped up about 10 degrees or so. Um, I'm hoping because I insulate this that it will actually keep the warmth and then every day it will get hotter and hotter and hotter. But the, the shower I had was actually nice and warm, so that was all good. So yeah, any questions about this setup and um, anything like that, let me know and I'm happy to answer.